Okay, folks, hey, somebody said it wasn't fall yet. But it must be September 1st because I'm doing September birthday table for all those September babies right here on my take on Home and Garden. Come on over guys, it's gonna be a doozy. Let me show you what I'm gonna use for our Swedish inspired birthday table for September. Now, you know September is, has a birthstone of a sapphire. There's different colors and tones of sapphire. We're using the classic standard dark blue or cobalt blue. And the flower for September is aster. They are pretty. Let's take a look. Okay guys, here's some of what we're gonna use for our Swedish inspired table today. We're gonna have some wine. Somebody wants a martini and a cordial. Then I've chosen this more rustic, really sweet, off-white charger for our table today. Right here's why. Our wonderful blue and white, 100% cotton tablecloth made in India with a Swedish style vibe. And September is all about sapphire for those September babies. Here we're gonna use an Arco Rock set of cobalt blue, dinner plates, salad plate, dessert bowl. We're gonna have coffee or cocoa, serving plates. We got a toothpick. We have crystal stemware made in France by Crystal D'Arcs. Okay, and then we have our beautiful pair now of dolphin candlesticks. The reason I have a pair, I had found one, our wonderful friend, Carol Chang. Hello, Carol. <laughs> Carol had sent us another one, so we were just tickled over that. And our electric candles by Cami Richardson. Also, our Bavarian cobalt blue cocoa pot made by Royal Bavaria. Now I've chosen to use this cobalt blue basket for the centerpiece. We're gonna start out here, take a minute to build this and I'm using a coil of garland with olives. Olive leaves and olives is gonna be our base for this arrangement. This one will be different and fun. Let's go. Okay guys, ready to go on this gorgeous different arrangement. If we lived in Sweden, we would have wonderful greens left just finishing up in September. We might get a little bed of those coming out of the ends. That and our imported olives should make a cute basket. We'll take this frosted blue leaf and use that as the tallest piece in our basket today. I'll probably lift this as I put a few things in. Now, it's all about asters. 
because that's the flower of the month. However, we're not going to be boring. Anybody can put just one flower in. We are going to look at these. We want some contrast in here with some Rose of Sharon and we're going to put them as a base in the bottom. Then we're going to build this up a bit, a little bit of lift and separate. Now we're going to fill in. I have taken this aster bunch and cut it into singles so I can put it where I want it. You know how we've been over that more than once. So we just want to fill this middle with all of these. And we have a little piece of, oh, like a lilac piece. It's probably a little late for them, but it's actually looks like a violet baby's breath. It's quite pretty. Could be wild. Well, this is getting cuter by the minute. All righty. Let's get that blue to stand up a bit. Check our balance and get that in the middle. All right, we're going to set up to build this table. Now, does everybody know where sapphires come from? There's a few countries that mine them. Madagascar, Tanzania, Sri Lanka, Myanmar, and our wonderful friends down in Australia. That's where the deep blue sapphires come from. I think it's kind of cool to know more than what just what we're looking at. Could I possibly need to take you and show you all around? Let's check out our Swedish inspired table today. loving this combination with this tablecloth blue and white white and the cobalt blue and this will be the last of it for the season thought we'd finish it off Can you believe those asters and what they do for this table?
Anything we used in this table today, I'll link in the description box so you can have a chance to possibly get a hold of it. Crystal D'Arcs of France, stemware, Arco Rock, dinnerware. Guys, I hope you liked our happy birthday September babies table today with a Swedish influence. And our dinner tonight is a classic traditional Swedish dish and it is called Pittipanna. Pittipanna is a wonderful hash. Okay, and we'll have cut green beans fresh and a couple of other vegetables. And for dessert, one of my favorites, and it sounds funny, but it is called clod kaka or clod cake. Okay, and when I was little, <laughs> if you had mud on your boots, my grandmother would say, you have clod hoppers. <laughs> so I'm thinking they're kind of related. My great, great, great grandmother would be just furious with me if I didn't include a Swedish table with pitipan. Okay. Hope you enjoyed and most of all folks happy birthday september can you believe it's here already this incredible beautiful table a work of love is for all of you everyone born in september thanks guys enjoy get that new sapphire ring <laughs> and a bouquet of incredible asters for your birthday. See you next time. We're still decorating for fall. Coming soon in living color. Just like we like it. Take care, everybody. See you soon. Happy birthday. Yep. New faucets, after 11 years, I had to change them and wanted the bronze. Thought you'd like to see. And the brand name is Moen. Should last longer than the last ones. <laughs>